Well, we're following the ongoing fallout from a massive global computer outage. A lot of the impact felt right here in Oklahoma. Yeah, everything from hospitals to banks, police departments, state and local governments, even airlines were disrupted. As News 4's John Hayes tells us, an Oklahoman is now trapped in Las Vegas because of all of this. John? That's exactly right, Heather. That Oklahoman you mentioned says he woke up this morning to absolute cyber chaos. We know it was caused by a software update error from a cybersecurity firm. IT experts warning folks to be careful as we enter recovery mode. Oh, lucky you, you're stranded in Vegas. Oklahoma radio host Travis Davidson says he's not feeling very lucky. Stuck in Sin City, his flight back canceled. All their rental cars, all spoken for. So I finally got one Sunday. I think I'm picking it up at 6 a.m. and I'm dropping it off in Tulsa. He shot this video Friday morning of security lines, calling them some of the shortest he's seen in the ever busy Las Vegas airport. George Kurtz, CEO of cybersecurity company CrowdStrike, spoke to NBC about the worldwide outage at the center of the problem. The system uh, was sent an update and that update had a, a software bug in it and caused a uh, an issue with the Microsoft operating system. Local IT expert Corey Carson says anyone that is using that software in their organization or on their computer uh, would have experienced an outage on that device uh, once Windows rebooted. It caused problems Friday morning at Will Rogers World Airport. You can never prepare for, for a technical IT situation. Now back on track. We're up and up and running again um, with just a few delays um, later this afternoon. Other impacts fell across Oklahoma Friday as well. Stillwater police had to reroute their 911 calls. SSM Health St. Anthony postponed some Friday procedures. Service Oklahoma also says there were problems with driver license services. Carson says even though this wasn't a cyber attack, it's easy to assume the worst. We have a knee-jerk reaction to uh, be concerned. The good news is many of the events are isolated and don't cause uh, significant outages. We'll have cyber tips to share with this story on our website, KFOR.com. As for David Sin, he says he's hoping to make it back home in time for work Monday.